certified most accurate forecast. All right, we've got just a few lingering showers back across the area here, and then those are going to get out of here. The real story over the next couple of days, though, weather-wise, the big-time cool-down that's beginning across the area tonight. Let me show you what's happening here, because let's start with the jet stream, because notice we've got this invasion of blue, and whenever that happens, you usually are like to think, or it's pretty much corresponds with cooler air moving in, and that's exactly what's happening tonight, and that's what's going to happen into our Thursday. So a big dip going to develop in the jet stream over the next couple of days. That is going to send temperatures below normal for this time of the year. Now, we're talking 50s for highs. It looks like as we go through Thursday, even into Friday, even into Halloween itself, as that dip begins to relax some, it's still going to be a little cool heading into the weekend. However, as we get into next week, we are going to see a significant jump in temperatures. Look what begins to happen with the jet stream. Sunday into Monday. Sunday is the first day of November. And just for a little food for thought here, if you go back to November 1st of 2014, it was our first measurable amount of snow here in the tri-state. Nothing like that this November 1st. We're talking highs in the 60s. And by the time we get into the middle of next week, indications are we may even see highs all the way into the mid-70s by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So that will be a very nice treat for the first week of November. This November going to start very much different than last November around the area. All right, I mentioned a few lingering showers out there. Nothing terribly heavy. We've got some showers here within the 275 loop within greater Cincinnati, up towards Coleraine and Miami Town. These are more like sprinkles than downpours. Certainly, after the three inches of rain we received in the past two days, we don't really need anything terribly heavy out there. And there are a few more sprinkles, rising sun down towards Warsaw. This will continue for about the next hour or so. By the time you wake up in the morning, those sprinkles and showers will be out of here. All of that's going to depart with that storm system responsible for all our wet weather. And in its wake, basically, cooler air is going to move in. I do want to point something out, though, to you. Notice this cloud cover racing across Texas and Oklahoma. That is already in advance of the next storm system that's going to move in here just in time for Halloween. More on that here in just a moment. Winds, they're going to stay brisk tonight, and that brisk breeze tomorrow and tomorrow night, even into Friday, going to kind of exaggerate that cool a little bit so it will feel cooler than it actually is. And look at the winds tonight. With our winds all out of the west, you can certainly see the invasion of cooler air pushing across Indiana tonight. We're in the mid to upper 50s, falls back into the low 50s around Indianapolis, and then look at that. Temperatures just kind of nosedive into the 40s, even some 30s, back towards the Mississippi River. In the morning, we'll wake to temperatures in the 40s and then 30s on Friday morning. So there's the showers getting out of here. Should be a decent amount of sunshine for tomorrow. There may be a few passing clouds from time to time, but all in all, it looks like a very quiet forecast Thursday and Friday around here on the cool side of things, but altogether, no opportunities for rain, it looks like, the next two days, and the next opportunity won't get in here until Halloween itself. Halloween still doesn't look terribly wet, but I do think there will be a few showers around the area. At least temperatures, though, are comfortable. It'll be in the low to mid 50s for trick or treaters Saturday night. So 45 by morning, breezy and cooler. Those showers will get out of here over the next hour or so. And then tomorrow, partly cloudy, but chilly breezes. Look at that west to southwest wind at 15 to 20. will certainly make that 56 feel cooler. Here's your day planner. 46 as you walk out the door at 8 a.m. And then we'll creep our way into the low to mid 50s by afternoon. 34 for a low tomorrow night, so we drop close to freezing. Then we bounce back up into the 50s for Friday. Looks great for high school football. There's your shower threat Saturday, and then we kick off a mild stretch of weather for the first full week of November. Look at those highs climbing through the 70s by next week. You made that Halloween rain sound positive. Yeah, it, I don't. It sounds.